Same directions. We're solving by graphing. Uh, let's take 2y minus 8x equals 10 and, and graph that. So is the method of graphing the intercepts going to work all that well here? I, I mean, you could get it to work, but you're going to have a fraction there, right? Because that 8, that negative 8 on the x does not divide the 10 evenly. So I wouldn't do that. I would go back to, uh, you could always plot points, but I think it'd be pretty easy to solve for y here, wouldn't it? Use the shortcut. So what can we do to solve for y first of all? Uh, yeah, we'll add 8x. What does that give us? 2y equals 8x plus 10 is one way to write it. And then finally, to get y by itself, what do you do? Multiply by 1 half or divide by 2. Division distributes just like multiplication does, so you divide individually on the right side by 2. Both, both terms. So what does that give us? 4x plus 5. Oh, that's not bad at all. Okay, you guys tell me, what's the y-intercept? 0, 5 is the y-intercept. What's the slope? 4 or, or 4 over 1. Okay, so shortcut. Let's start with uh, graphing the y-intercept. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then where do I go from there? Yeah, you could go up, up what? 4 and over 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and over 1. What's an alternative to that? You go, you go down 4 and down 1, right? Because negative 4 over negative 1 is the same as 4 over 1. So we could go, uh, to put in a third point, we could go down 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 1. Okay, use the line tool. Well, use your straight edge. I don't know where the intersection point's going to be, so I'm going to go way down here. And, okay, let's shrink that. And let's look at the other equation. Y equals 4X plus 2. Well, that's tailor-made for the same technique, right? What's the Y-intercept? 0, 2, and, and what's the slope? 4. That should be a red flag right there, but let's pretend like we don't notice that. Okay, so uh, 0, 2, I'm going to start off right here and then go, I think I'm going to go down 4 and left 1, right? So down 1, 2, 3, 4 and left 1. And if I use my line tool once again, through these points, what do you notice about the two lines? Now you might have noticed that before we even finished because they have the same slope, right? So is there, if a solution occurs at an intersection point, is there going to be a solution here? No, no solution. So um, the lines are parallel. So there is no solution, no solution.